that's good. And confirm. And we won, <laughs> we won the auction. Okay, so this is the bike. As you can see, it's not missing as many parts as the other one. Let's just do a little walk around of the bike. It's 2018 Honda CB500 and it's only missing this panel piece and it's also missing ignition key, ignition bracket. And this is the most expensive part, the actual computer. I got this from 2017 Honda CB500, so I am not sure if this is going to fit. So I got 2017 because that's the only one I could find online on eBay, and it looks the same. So hopefully it fits, we'll try it in a second. And the main part, the ignition switch. <laughs> and guess what, does it fit on the bike? Oh yeah, it fits perfectly. This is amazing. And it was missing the ECU, but ECU is now in. So let's put the ignition key in and let's see if it starts up. The battery is dead. Da, na, na, na. I'm back. Oh, oh. I connected them the opposite way. So it turns on. I've changed a fuse which is from the fuel pump and I changed a fuse from the reel, this reel, reel. And now... You can see it, hear the pump running now. Alright guys, so this is the bike so far and um, now we're going to be putting on this radiator protector. All we need to do is just remove this two over there, I already removed one. One on this side, put the radiator on this way and put the screw through this hole and we'll see how it looks like. This is the before and this is going to be the after. As you can see it looks, it looks a lot better. It's all about that little details, it's hard to pick up on camera, but if I come closer, you can see that. It looks so much better and this not only makes the bike look better, but it also protects the radiator from any rocks or chips coming at it. We're still trying to find this side panel, just like on this side. It's missing only one part and then it's going to be 100% finished. Okay guys, so we have finally received the final part for the bike. <laughs> this side fender as you can see and it's supposed to go on the side as you can see it's red so we'll have to repaint that with the original color so it would be OEM <clears throat> I just want to see if it actually fits the bike looks like the fender fits the bike perfectly now all we have to do is just repaint it and put it back on Okay, so now that it's getting to the end of this video, I thought the best thing would be to add how much I've spent on the bike, what mistakes I made when selling the bike, how much money I lost when I sold the bike, why I sold the bike for less, a mistake that I made before buying the bike that caused me to lose money when I had to sell it, and the next build I have already purchased for the next video. I purchased the bike of the auction, delivered it for $3,525.60. Then I had to buy the lock set and the ECU. Without the ECU, the bike wouldn't be working. So that cost me $331.85. And the bike also didn't come with a battery, so I had to purchase that for $66.37. Then the logbook, $39.82. Number plate, $21.24. Radiator cover, $26.55. The right side panel that went under the seat, which I also had to paint, cost me $47.79. And then the paint for the panel was $26.55. So the total amount I had to spend to have the bike 100% finished was $4,085.76. And considered that the bike was only 600 miles I think it's a pretty good price for 
a brand new bike. And as of right now, I actually already sold the bike, and I sold the bike for less than I actually purchased it for, which was $3,451.27. So the total loss was $634.49. Now the reason for that is because I made the mistake before buying the bike. So I was bidding as if I wanted to buy the bike for myself and have it forever, but actually I was planning to sell it before I even bought it. What I didn't consider my Myself was any insurance write-off it doesn't matter how good it is it's still going to be 20% under the market price so for example if the average market price is four thousand dollars four thousand dollars minus 20% which is $800 the price of my bike is going to be $3,200 so my advice to you if you're buying a bike from the auction and it has been written off by insurance and you're planning to sell the bike in the future for more money than you bought it for then make sure to subtract the value of the bike by at least 20% from the average market price then I can guarantee that you will be making money so what actually happened to the bike that it was stolen and then it has been recovered by the police but as you saw it was missing a few parts the main part was the computer which is really really expensive and it wasn't worth it for the insurance to fix it somehow I don't know why uh, probably because they thought it wasn't going to be recoverable so they had to write it off as a cat N which is non-structural so all I had to do is just replace the locks and the bike was completely working so I got pretty lucky with this one but that's where the next video comes in and I purchased another bike and that one is going to be a lot more exciting because there is a lot more work for it to do and this is where the next part of this video comes in where I'm gonna show you a few videos of myself riding the bike and having lots of fun during the summertime So as you've seen, I had lots and lots of fun with the bike. I visited lots of places around the town. I wish I visited a little bit more, but that's where the next summer comes in, of course, with the new bike. And thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Three thousand nine hundred ninety-five with fifteen thousand miles. My bike had six. 1,000 miles and I sold it for <sighs> bro this is in pounds by the way 4,000 pounds and that's about five thousand dollars I sold mine for three thousand four hundred one thousand six hundred dollars lost